decided to do the Mulgai walk that takes you to Kilmadeni Loch. And actually it's amazing, I've lived here for a long time and I've just walked down paths and along wee roads and steps that I'd never seen before. Um, I've obviously taken other routes, uh, but it's amazing what you find in your local area if you just explore a wee bit. This is Kilmadini Loch. It's set close to Morgai, it's actually in Bearsden. It was part of a big estate and there's still a house, um, Kilmadini House near here, that's used for council um, activities. The loch is at the heart of a play park and it was bought by the council in the 1960s. Lots of people use it for walking, walking their dogs, running, cycling. There's also a play park near here. It's a really popular wee spot. woods here at Kilmadini Loch is a gruffalo. I'm not going to tell you quite where it is, you have to find it for yourself. Gruffalo has been carved out of a 200 year old beech tree. It was created by the Scottish sculptor Ian Chalmers. He has created lots of sculptures around the loch and you can see them as you walk. Most of them are to entertain children. The project was a joint development by Eastern Bartonshire Council and Kilmadini Pals, which stands for Play Park and Loch Scheme. They're really fun and they're lovely to see. Lots of people come along, especially to see the grumbling. two fun facts associated with Kilmadini Loch and the number four. There are four wee islands in the middle of the loch and it also took four days for Ian Chalmers to sculpt the Gruffalo from a 200 year old beech tree.